channel so today i'm going to be doing this makeup look for you i haven't done like a really simple just a winged liner look for a while and i got the new kai liner in the post and also a new huda beauty liquid lipstick so it's kind of like a first impressions kind of as well um but if you want to see how to get this look and what i think of the new products then just keep watching all right all right let's do this i've already primed my face with a makeup for the smoothing primer and then i'm using the makeup forever water blend foundation this is in the shade oh no amber which is actually really really dark but as you can see it matches my neck like so perfectly i'm just pretty tanned right now so it just works for me but i definitely couldn't use this in the winter like no way jose um i use my beauty blender to apply this with this foundation i think this is the best method i have tried with a brush and um, because it is very watery gel like texture with a brush you tend to get kind of brush marks and a beauty blender gives you like a really flawless and really lightweight just really beautiful finish to this foundation i love this foundation moving on to my concealer i'm using the tarte merjuku concealer uh, this is my absolute fave right now it's obviously not new i've had this stuff for ages but recently i've been just in love with it i just cannot explain how good it is and i think also the color for me just works perfectly uh, it looks pretty light right now because obviously i am tanned but when i blend it out it totally works and it's not like ridiculously bright once i blend it out this is in the shade light sand and i just use my damp beauty blender to also blend this out do make sure to get your beauty blender damp so you run it under the tap you rinse it through till it puffs up it will go to almost double the size and then you wring it out because i recently realized that loads of my friends didn't even realize you had to get it damp so make sure it is damp yes moving on to setting i'm setting with the rhodial translucent powder um on my sigma tapered highlighter brush and i'm making sure to set my eyelids as well as i'll be using no eyeshadow for this look i know what for highlight i'm using my ColourPop. this is the k-pop glow up super shock cheek and i'm using a real techniques duo fiber brush to apply this um i wanted to use this today instead of my illamasqua epic powder which you guys know i love but this is a really good dupe for it it's pretty similar it's just not quite as bronzy but it's super super similar so i thought i'd give you a cheaper alternative today and then for bronzing up the face with a slight contour i'm using my makeup forever pro fusion bronzer in 30m on this large benefit contour brush um just because i'm kind of over the really harsh contour right now i much prefer a more natural look so i'm just using this to apply in the contour areas but it's obviously not going to be nowhere near as harsh it's just going to bronze up the face and give you a tiny bit of dimension moving on now i'm going to be setting my face with mac fix plus just to keep it really nice and dewy and no powderiness on the skin for my eyebrows, I'm using my favourite brow product at the moment, which is the Rodial Glamo Brow. This is in the shade Dark Ash Brown. Check those brows, girl. Okay, moving on to the eyes. As I said, I am using the Kai Liner. This was the birthday edition. This is in the shade Dark Bronze. So starting off with the gel liner, which looks like this. I just did a little swatch of room here so you could see it. It's super easy to use. Like, it's really smooth and pretty thin, you know? It's not like a thick gel, and it definitely didn't, like, dry out before I'd finished at all. Um, I look down into the mirror so I can get the shape that I like. Um, obviously just do whichever kind of winged liner you like I never wear a winged liner like literally never um, but you can see the product is super easy to use it glides very well and even the brush was actually pretty good when I first saw it I thought oh this is quite thick but actually it was totally fine um, you can see because this is the dark bronze shade it has almost like it's like a brown with almost like gold sparkles in it which I absolutely love like I really like it this is way more my kind of liner but obviously if you like a really strong like dark 
liner then you probably won't like this shade but if all the formula like all, all the shades are this formula then so far I think it's actually a really good formula of gel liner definitely one of the, my favorites I've used as I find them can they can be quite hard to get like a really straight line they go a bit dry so they kind of catch on your skin whereas this didn't like at all so if they're all like this then I would like the other colors that she's coming out with which I think she actually just released um but I love the shade of this the way it's like bronzy I would also like to use this as just like a base for my lid like I really liked it a lot uh moving on to lashes I'm using the unicorn lashes in pisky pisky <laughs> <laughs> pixie wish <laughs> pisky sounds mm, anyway moving on pixie wisp they're beautiful they're like really really feathery and then for the lower lash line i'm using the liner that you get in the kit as well so this is also in bronze you can see it's pretty the same pretty much the same color as the gel just obviously in a pencil form i did find that when i drew this on my eye it was like a, a little bit harder to get the pigmentation out of this one and also because as a, it's like a light bronze shade it didn't look super dark um i just smudged it out with a pencil brush i did want to try and keep the look all about just the liner so not putting any shadow on and stuff so you could create a whole look from it if you did just get the liner which totally works for me i think it looks bomb I'm just applying some of my Too Faced Ben and the Sex Mascara just to make sure those lashes blend. So I just kind of push it on the base of my lashes because you don't really want to get it on your falsies because then it's going to make the like longevity of them less, you know. So just try and put it on the base of your lashes. Then for lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Lip Liner purely because I use this lip liner for everything. And look, I got a new one! Yay! <laughs> um, I ordered a new one because I had used up the whole other one. Um, it's my favourite liner. I use it for pretty much every lip I do. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. This is in the shade Bombshell. I love this packaging. How cute is this? I love it. Um, and also okay so this is new and this is the only one i have right now i do have some more on the way but so far this formula is so bomb you know i was watching like huda beauty's snapchats and stuff and she was saying like oh my god this formula is gonna blow you away like it's totally different and i was like yeah yeah whatever like everyone says that but it actually totally is it feels really moisturizing on the lips it's very thin like a really thin layer so i'm loving them so far and that's your guys is the finished look Thank you.